welcome to Sakura Succubus 3. Oh boy, we got a long way here. Now, if you guys remember where we left off from Sakura Succubus 2, we literally had to go and deal with a lot of shit. Like, literally. First meeting, um, Fuyumi, everybody else around that time, like, uh, it was just so much. So, now, we're about to get into this. And looks like uh, the Succubus Lord, if you want to call her that either, coming after us. And apparently she's an old friend of ours or an old girlfriend of ours. And uh, looks like we're at luck, I guess. So uh, just know <laughs> I'm going to be having a hard time because it's been a long time since I actually read everything. <laughs> so um, be patient with me, guys. Be patient with me. Let's get back into it. All right, everybody, are you having a good time? My name's, I think I remember this one. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, I was about to say, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was losing track. That's a game to Williams. She's taking championship. William wins with a score of 6-2, William wins. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. When I was still a beginner, I knew I couldn't afford to take a single fan of mine for granted. Your love and affection meant the world to me. You cheered me on, and so I knew I had to keep going. I can't... I didn't want to let any of you down. If I did that, I wouldn't be able to call myself an idol ever again. My path was a hard one, but I never gave up. I devoted my life, my very soul, to pursuit of being an idol. And now, I finally made it. Can you stop this woman? Her string of victories is unparalleled. She has been playing professional tennis for less than two years, and she already made great waves in the sporting world. I think Hazel will be somebody to keep an eye on in the future. I'm standing on this huge stage in front of thousands and thousands of people and I've never felt more humble in my life. You guys are my light, my life, and my love. My heart belongs to every single one of you. And so, I'm going to dedicate this next song to you. This is my latest single, Overflowing Feelings. Let's go! I did it! I won! I can't believe it! Thank you for supporting me, everybody. I love you all. I'm gonna keep doing my very best. A-U! 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 That's way. Let's all applaud Hazel Williams, Japanese up-and-coming prodigy. Alright! I think I had enough of this. Hey, what's the big idea? Yeah. Hey, Maki, what are you doing? I was watching that. Oh, were you? Were you really? I planted my hands on my hips, unimpressed. Both AU and Hazel are sitting in front of my TV in my small cramped apartment. They were fighting for the remote control for about two seconds ago until I decided to step in. I snatched up the remote from Hazel's clutches before AU could, and now the TV screen is blank. I was getting tired of them swapping the channels over and over again. I might have gotten a headache if things had carried on like that. You weren't really trying to watch the TV. You wanted to watch yourselves and your own accomplishments. Good grief. I sighed, still clutching the remote. I don't plan to give it back in a hurry. With great power comes great responsibility, and neither of them are mature enough to handle it. <laughs> oh man, oh man. He is so, so, so grateful and humble. <laughs> what are the odds of they being airing one of your concerts at the same time as one of Hazel's tournaments? This is like a recipe for disaster. 
concert was not a disaster. A.U. puffed her cheeks out in a pout. It was wonderful, highly acclaimed, in fact. And my tournament wasn't a disaster either. Did you see how good I did? I was, like, super amazing. Don't you want to watch more? It will only get better, I promise. No, he doesn't. Haraki wants to watch me perform. No, he wants to watch me play. No, he wants to watch me. Me! All right, fine. Let us do this like adults. Hiraki. Are you stabs a finger in my direction? Who would you rather watch? So I get to choose? Uh, this is unusually considerate coming from AU. It's a shame it's too late now. I mean, I already have a headache. If you like, now hurry up. I'm a busy woman and I don't have all day. All right, all right, fine. <sighs> Though I have a choice that matters, supposedly, I don't think AU or Hazel are all interested in my opinion. In that case, does it really matter what I say? Oh well, let's give it a shot. <sighs> to be quite honest, both of you are annoying. Right now, I don't want to watch either of you! I'm sorry, but I don't want to watch either of you right now. Not if you're going to make that much noise! Eh? You don't? You don't want to watch me perform? I've seen you perform in person before, AU. I already know how talented you are. As for you, Hazel, I've seen you practice in tennis courts a bunch of times. I'm well aware of your skills. Neither of you need to try and impress me. I'm impressed already. You both are very accomplished women. Now, can't we all try to be friends? And can we leave the TV alone? The poor thing is pretty old, and I'm afraid it'll short circuit if it can withstand each even more intense channel hopping. Hmm. Hey, you pouts. Like I want to be friends with a musical bar on Amazon like her. And here comes a you. God damn it. Uh, an Amazon? That's actually kind of cool. Well, at least she took it as a compliment. I wonder if I could crush a man's head between my thighs. <laughs> Ah, uh, but I, I guess it's unbecoming of me to argue so bitterly. I suppose to be an idol is my job to bring love and happiness to people. I would swallow my own discontent and put on a big smile. Get it? Stop it. Uh, you makes a peace sign with both hands, all while fluttering her big anime eyes. I know this is just an act. AU, despite her public image, is very caustic. No shit. But it's very effect it's a very effective one. Nobody's better than turn on the charm like a QEU among her fans as AUAU. She could go from zero to one in about 0 0.2 seconds. Oh! That patented AU you wink I've heard so much about? You really are so adorable, AU. No wonder you're so popular. Hey! What are you doing? Get off me! I won't. You're too adorable. Don't baby me and don't pat my head. You'll get my hair all mushed up, you dolt. Idiot, garbage, worthless human refuse. Worthless human refuse is a bit much. Even coming from you, don't you think? Moreover, hey, you and Hazel aren't really human, though they might look the part. Uh, they're actually, in fact, succubi. I know, I know, it's hard to believe, isn't it? I had a pretty tough time when I first learned about the existence of succubi and the succubus realm. As it expires, a lot of famous and successful women across the world are succubi. Succubi harvest magic energy through intimate relationships, as legends say, but they can also gain energy through being liked, loved, praised, or revered. As such, many succubi are driven to come to the human world to seek out fame. Through a series of events too complicated to go into right now, I was able to meet five succubi famous through very, in various fields. Excuse me. 
first I ran into AU, her full name's AQAU, and she's Pan's top idol. She acts sweet and cute on stage, but uh, that's pretty much all for show. She's actually a cutting tongue, and she can be incredibly harsh. Next, I met Wakazuki Marina. She is a revered businesswoman who runs a successful clothing company despite being rather young. She's a all off cool head woman, but she's a sweetheart deep down. Then there's Cosmos Moretti. Cosmos is half Japanese, half Italian girl who rose to prominence via social media. She has a huge number of followings on the image sharing website, Rapid Pound, which she consistently uploads photos of herself and various saucy outfits. There's also Yamamoto Hifumi, the famous actress. She's been in entertainment industry for over a decade and she is beloved by the general public for her calm, gentle demeanor. Finally, there's Hazel Williams. Hazel's father is an American and I think she grew up there. Uh, she is easygoing, laid back woman, most of the time at least. Uh, she's a famous tennis star and she practices almost every single day. These women all fell for me for one reason or another and now I'm almost never alone. It's hard to get equal amount of attention to five different women, particularly when they all have such busy schedules, but I think I do a decent job of it. Uh, it's a challenge, but I've never been one to back down from those. Spending time with all these clever, interesting, beautiful women is very rewarding. And there are perks to it too. Right now, though, I feel at a bit of a loss. I'm flattered AU and Hazel dropped by to pay me a visit, but it's getting pretty late. I have to go to work tomorrow, you know. I'm sure you do as well. Maybe we should postpone this little get together. What do you say? Huh? Postpone it? Hazel stares at me open mouthed. But I've been looking forward to seeing you for ages. Inaki, I've been busy for the, this last month. We barely have a chance to talk. Well, it's not like I really care about seeing you or anything. Uh, here we go with this old tsundere routine. Ayu does this very often. She has it down to a fine art. Who does she think she's fooling? Anyway. Uh, she might be able to trick her fans, but not me. She's incredibly transparent. But it would be a shame to go home already. I haven't spent nearly enough time with you yet. But don't you have an upcoming tennis tournament, Hazel? And aren't you recording a new single, AU? I hate to for you to jeopardize your career for my sake. <laughs> you are always considerate. That's why I love you so much, Hideki. Mm. AU winches. Look at you dropping the L bomb so quickly. That sort of love is so cheap. Don't you have any shame? Mmm. Hazel considered it a few moments, but didn't say it cheerfully. Nope. Ugh. I suppose I should have expected as much coming from a woman who never would wear any underwear. There's nothing wrong with that. I just don't like it. Humans were meant to wear underwear. It's unnatural. I don't think human beings were meant to wield rackets and hit balls across courts. But here we are. That's different. That's that, and this is this. You know, I feel strongly about this as a whole, at this whole no underwear thing, AU. In fact, Hazel toys with the heme of her plated skirt. Wait, what? I'm not wearing any underwear right now. Do you want to see? Well, uh, I'm not opposed to the idea, but why you? Hazel grabs a hold of her ponytail and tugs it. Stop trying to make moves on Hiragi when I'm here, you uncultured swine. Eh? Why can't I? We've done all sorts of naughty things together. I don't see why it should be a problem now. It's a problem because you're not alone. You can't flirt with Hiragi all brazen like in front of me. It's degenerate. Oh, Hazel grins. 
Oh, so you're saying you've never done anything to generate Tehiraki, eh, you? Well, that is... Mm. Eh, you graces away, her face flustered. In any case, I don't want to watch you slobbering all over him. It's embarrassing. You need to learn some restraint. Ah, oh, don't be like that, eh, you? If you got a problem with me being lovey-dovey with Hiroki, why don't you join in? Huh? <laughs> Ayu steps back. What? What is this nonsense? It's not like I want to hold him or kiss him or anything. I'm sure you don't. <laughs> um, you're so cute, Ayu. Even when you don't meant to be. You can say the meanings of things, but deep down, you're still an innocent girl. I'm not innocent, and I'm most definitely not little. I know how to flatter men as well as the next woman. I just don't. Because I have more self-respect than that. It's not like I have to lavish attention on Hiroki or anything. Does that mean you don't mind I lavish attention on him instead? No, um, if you're going to do that, you'll probably make all sorts of amateur mistakes. You're too clumsy. Really? Hazel giggles. I think I'm pretty sure I'm gonna handle balls myself. No, no, no! I met Hiroki before you did, and I'm the one with the real experience. I'll show you how it's done. Wait, what? What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. You're big, brutish, and clumsy, so you should probably sit this one out. Let me put in the terms so you'll understand. Even with the empty hands of yours, you're being benched. Heh, <laughs> getting feisty, aren't we? That's cute, too. I love handsome men, but cute girls are also great. Being solicited as Japanese top idol is getting me excited. I just can't hold back any longer. You two have got to stop this shit! <laughs> Girls, let's talk about this. Hiragi. Hiragi. Ah, the th things sure escalate fast. Uh, I guess this is to be expected, given all these girls are so occupied, but still, would it kill me to give a bit of time to prepare my heart? Hey, time out, you guys. It is really getting late, so if you... If we could just settle this score any day, then... No, we can't. We're going to settle it now. Who can make it better? Hazel or I? We need to figure out this one this instant. It's a competition. No, it's not! <laughs> this sounds like fun. Let's give it a go! Later that night, called up with AU and Hazel, I had a dream. It was a very gentle dream of this nostalgic variety. It's a dream of something that happened to me once more than a decade ago. <sighs> in my final year of high school, there was a girl in my class named Yuki. She was a transfer student, and she didn't have any friends. Though she was pretty and good at academics, she was cold and icy and kept everybody at a distance, myself included. A few guys tried asking her out, but they were roundly rejected. I never thought I had a chance with her, even so I never even contemplated the idea. Times passed, as I never spoke to Yuki, she soon faded from my mind. That is until I received a letter from her in my shoe locker. Meet me on the roof after school. I have something important, very important, I need to discuss with you from Yuki. The letter was written in a neat, elegant script. The character seems feminine enough, but I had my doubts. Will Yuki really send me such a letter? It seems unlikely. There's no way the real Yuki, the Ice Princess, would ever talk to me after school. <sighs> it must have been a setup by the rest of the classmates. I was certain it was one big, elaborate prank. That's what I told myself but I went to the school roof regardless. I was curious. I'll admit my heart was pounding pretty hard at the time. I keep telling myself what if, but I knew I was being silly. There was no way it was really her, but it was. 
Oh, damn. She is one cute mama. Oh, ho, brother. Ho, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, you got too much dip on your chill. She was waiting for me on the roof after school. She turned to me. Her dark hair fluttered in the breeze and said, I've been waiting for you. I have something very important I want to tell you. Hideki, I, I love you. I was utterly astounded, as you might expect. I never imagined Yuki would say such a thing to me. Of all people, it was impossible. It must have been a dream. But though I pinched myself, I didn't wake up. Yuki, white, a bastard face didn't waver. She had written me that letter and she had confessed to me. We exchanged no less than five words in the past, but she was being sincere. She loved me. I knew a little about Yuki, but I doubt she knew much about me. We've been in the same class for most of the year, but we were relative strangers like everyone else. I had avoided her. If she'd ever stared at me longly, I'd never noticed. I never thought she loved me. I was wrong. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. I accepted her feelings and she kissed me. After that, we started going out. She was my first girlfriend and Though I didn't know much about love, I did care about her a great deal. <sighs> Thought she would stay for me for a long time, but that's something else that I was wrong about. I hadn't seen her in years. I wonder what she's doing now. Was she able to find happiness like I have? If so, I'd be pleased for her. She was an old girl, but she seemed to find it hard to make friends. I wouldn't want her to be lonely. Now that's strange. Why am I thinking about Yuki at a time like this? The next morning. Ugh. I pulled out of my slumber by the familiar tiny beeping of my alarm clock. I get up stretching and shut off the hateful device before it can make my headache worse than it already is. I feel even more tired than usual. I must have gone to bed late last night. Snatching out of my previous event, returning to me in bits and pieces, I try to shake off my sleepiness. AU and Hazel came over, didn't I? They were camped out in front of the TV for a while, arguing over the channel. They had a bit of a fight and then descended into a competition to carry my favor. One thing led to another and then, well, it's no wonder I feel so tired. Ugh, I yawn. It's hard being popular, but I doubt it's a problem many men would sympathize with. In fact, I'm sure most men would kill me if they knew how lucky I am. I do wonder where AU and Hazel are now though. Maybe they left already? They stayed with me pretty late last night. I feel bad for making them go home on their own. I'm sure the sh I'm not sure if the streets are safe for a couple of women. But well, it's not like Hazel and AU are ordinary women. They're both sucky by and they have incredible power, not to mention amazing strength. I'm sure they'll be fine. At least I hope they are. Should I text them to see if they're right, all right? Would that be overbearing? It's not like I'm their father. I'm with these thoughts in my mind as I exit my room. I'm still in my boxer shorts. I mean, had to have a shower, then put on my clothes in. But I stop when I pass by the cramped kitchen. It's not empty at all. Okay, calm down. Calm down. God damn it, Hazel! That's the wrong time for you to do that! Hazel is sitting on a table, one leg folded over the other, and she's sitting in 
she's wearing her sports attire and her long hair is pulled back in a ponytail. She's brushing some of her loose hair aside with one hand and her head is bowed. Her eyes are half lidded and her lips are clamped about a banana. It's not every day I wake up to a pretty girl in my house sitting in my kitchen. Though, since I first met AU, this start is starting to become a semi-regular occurrence. At the same, I haven't quite got used to it. It's a lot to take in. Hey, Hazel, you're pretty up. You're up pretty early. Oh, hey, Dougie. Hazel takes the banana from her mouth and smiles at me. <laughs> her smile's so wide and warm. I can feel the stress simply melting off my shoulders. Good morning. How do you? It's nice to see you. That should be my line. You're looking good. Good in what way? Is she fishing for compliments? What a minx. Of course. Of course I'll say that shit. This should probably go without saying, but well. I smile. I think you look pretty sexy right now. What? Really? Oh, jeez. Hazel grins and takes another bite of her banana. Thanks a lot. You know how to perk your spirits up. <laughs> Were you feeling them perky before I dropped by? Not really. I always give it in 101%, you know? But, well, it's easier to get fired up when you're around. You're the best wingman there is. When you praise me, I feel like I can do anything. And I'll keep on doing that. Hazel grins at me and I return it. There's something weighing on my mind now. Say, Hazel, are you the only person here? That's right, why? Nothing really, I was just wondering where AU went. I glance around the kitchen as though Japanese top idol might be hiding beneath the table or in one of the cupboards, sorry. But of course she isn't. As far as I can see, it's just Hazel and I here. AU, oh, she left for work. Um, she has a big concert coming up and she has to hit rehearse for it. Speaking of which, I should probably get going myself. I need to head over to the Okawa Sports Center so I can practice on my swings. I'll cut it pretty close. Looks like I'm probably pretty late. I hope Yurika isn't too cross with me. <laughs> has she gotten... Has she... Uh, has she been getting on your case lately? A little. She doesn't know I've been spending time with you trying to keep that a secret, but I'm thinking, I figured I have enough other special someone I've spent time with. She's kind of jealous of that. <laughs> I told her before we started dating that our relationship wasn't exclusive. But she, she said she was fine with it, but she is a pretty jealous person. If she couldn't share it with me, uh, she really should have said so. Jeez. <sighs> Humans are weird and possessive. I don't see what's wrong with spreading love around. It's not like I'm trying to trick her or anything. I'm always honest and upfront. I know you are. You don't play mind games. It's one reason I like you so much. I think Hazel's polar opposite of AU. AU turns red and sputter when she says something even halfway nice. She even have a great difficulty in articulating her real feelings, perhaps, because she spends too much wearing the artifice of a cute, sweet, simpering idol. She's a total cinere th through and through. Hazel, meanwhile, is, isn't is one to mince words. She's always on front and she's easy to hang out with. She's a lot more chill than AU is, though so, uh, they both have their own appeals. <laughs> you like me, huh? Hazel grins. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I like you a whole bunch, too. Now that I've heard that, I feel like I really could give all my all in this gym. I'm gonna work up a sweat all for you. Great, do your best. I'm rooting for you. All right. Hazel takes another bite of her banana and then shoots me a grin. Who cares? Axel, a little pissy at me. I don't need her anyways. 
I got you now, and you're the sweetest supportive boyfriend. I go. Good ever dream of. <laughs> now, up four, I go. Uh, I gotta give you something to remember me by. Uh, as if I could ever forget you. I know it's, I'm pretty unforgetful, but let me do this one thing. She finished up her banana and then darts to my side. Quickly fast, she presses her lips again. Against my lips. I wanted to grasp her close and kiss her back, but there isn't enough time. Uh, she breaks a kiss and then glitch at the clock. Her face flushed. Oh, next! I hang down way too long. I really gotta get going. I'll see you later. Have a good day at work. Yeah, um, see ya. Have a good one. I waved after Hazel. She dashes um, away from my apartment. The white pleats of her short skirts flutters as she goes. The door slams, then there's silence. I'm alone again. In the past, I'm used to spending pretty much all my time in my apartment alone, but the company of all the succubi has spoiled me. The apartment, still small though, feels cost, feel cozier when it's filled with excitable chatter. Hazel's barely gone for five seconds and I miss her already. I press my fingers on the lips, salvoring the warmth of her kiss. Then I shake my head. There's no point being modern. It sucks that we have to spend so much time together, but Hazel and you and the rest have busy schedules. They all have to work. Speaking of which, oh crap, I gotta get to work too. Uh, the interlude of Hazel in the kitchen was as brief as I thought. A good 15 minutes have passed and I'm still in my underwear. I need to get into the shower. Stat. Will I ever get enough time for breakfast? There's n this is no good. I'm gonna be late! This is where I'm gonna end it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button. If you are new to the channel, it's been Zed, guys. Later.